Hi, it's Kerry here. Today I have some new animals for my watering hole. I really like my new grievy zebra and the grizzly bear. Can you tell me how many animals have horns or antlers in today's video? Give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. Grievy Zebra is the largest of the equids. It has a long head and neck and slender legs. The glossy coat is patterned with black and white vertical stripes that are much narrower than those of the plain zebra and travel down the legs to the hooves. The tall upright mane is also striped in a pattern that continues on from the neck. A wide black stripe along the back is very distinctive and it's bordered by white on the rump. Grievy Zebra has a tan coloured muzzle with white edges and large rounded ears. The Orangutan and Baby Baby orangutans cry when they're hungry, whimper when they're hurt and smile at their mother just like a human newborn baby. Female orangutans usually only have one baby at a time and that will only be once every seven years or so. Orangutans possess 32 teeth, the same number that are present in humans. Their arms stretch out longer than their bodies, over two meters from fingertip to fingertip and are used to employ a hook grip. When on the ground, they walk on all fours using their palms or their fists. That baby is so cute. The white-tailed buck. White-tailed deer are the smallest members of the North American deer family. Adult white-tails have reddish-brown coats in summer which fade to a duller greyish-brown in winter. Male deer, called bucks, are easily recognisable in the summer and fall by their prominent set of antlers which are grown each year and fall off in the winter. The antlers have sharp points. During the mating season, the bucks fight over territory by using their antlers in sparring matches. The white-tailed doe. Female deer give birth to one to three young at a time usually in May or June. White-tailed deer are herbivores and do most of their grazing at dawn and dusk. They are able to sprint up to 30 miles or 48 kilometers per hour and leap as high as 10 feet which is 3 meters and as far as 30 feet which is 9 meters in a single bound. Ah, the white-tailed fawn. Young deer wear a reddish-brown coat with white spots that helps them blend in with the forest. In the wild, white tails, particularly the young, are preyed upon by bobcats, mountain lions and coyotes. The sun bear. The shy sun bear is the smallest member of the bear family and lives in the dense lowland forests of Southeast Asia. Their name comes from the golden or white patch on their chest. They have a sturdy muscular build, small ears and a short muzzle which has earned them the name dog bear. They have an extremely long tongue for extracting honey from bee nests, giving them the nickname honey bear as well. Their glossy black coat is short to avoid overheating in the tropical weather, but thick and coarse to provide protection from twigs, branches and rain. The grizzly bear, what a scary looking face. You can recognize grizzly bears by the hump on their back and the white tipped fur on their shoulders and back. The hump is made of muscles. Cubs will stay with their mother for two to four years, 
She is very protective and if you get near her cubs she could easily kill you. Cubs can climb trees when they are young. After a few years they will lose this ability because of their long claws. Grizzly bears can swim well, run fast and have good eyesight and an extremely good sense of smell. The Giant Earland Calf The Giant Earland is the largest antelope. The coat is reddish brown in colour with several white stripes. Both sexes have spiralled horns which are relatively straight. The horns can grow to 4 feet or 120 centimetres in length on an adult. Females are smaller and lighter than males with shorter horns. The giant eland are social animals living in herds and are mainly nocturnal, resting during the day in sheltered areas. The mule. A mule is the result of the mating of a male donkey called a jack and a female horse. Mules have been bred for use as riding and pack animals and for farm work like ploughing. The mule has patience, works hard, it's sure footed and intelligent, much like the donkey, combined with the size, speed, strength and boldness of the horse, so it's really quite a good animal. Mules have a tougher, less sensitive skin than horses, meaning that mules can deal with climate extremes more easily. They require less food and water than a horse of the same size. The mule's hooves are harder than horses' hooves, and both the mule and the mule's hooves show a natural resistance to disease and insects. The Nilgai. Nilgai is the largest antelope native to Asia. Males have grey to bluish grey coats, spots on the cheeks and white marks on the edges of the lips. The females are a tawny brown colour. Only the males have the slightly curving forward conical shaped horns that can grow to 9 inches or 22 centimetres. They have been known to create dung piles that can be 10 feet or 3 metres in diameter. They like to eat grass, leaves, buds and fruit and don't need much water. They are active during the day and live in small herds of just females or just males. The Hyrula The Hyrula is a slender, sandy coloured antelope with long legs, body and face and a short neck. The underside is pale. Male Hyrulas turn slate grey as they age. The face is characterised by white spectacles around the eyes, linked by a narrow white line. There are dark preorbital scent glands under the eyes that become enlarged when it gets excited, leading to the Harula's other name of four-eyed antelope. Both males and females have the lyre-shaped, heavily ringed horns that are beautiful but dangerous weapons. Used in fights with rivals, they can grow to 28 inches or 70 centimetres. Remember to tell me how many animals had horns or antlers in today's video. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. There's a short preview at the end about another video you might like. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.
thanks again for watching. Bye.